Hi, I'm Gary Fales, founder and president of City Theatrical. Today I'll teach you a little bit about wireless DMX and show you how to set up our Show Baby 5 wireless DMX system. All modern lighting equipment, like moving lights or LEDs, requires both power and DMX data. Wireless DMX is simply a way of getting DMX data from point A to point B without running cables. It can allow you to get DMX data to some places that would be impossible to otherwise, like across a river, across a highway, or to the top of a tall building. Show Baby 5 broadcasts a full universe of 512 DMX slots, and it utilizes the same state-of-the-art radio used on our professional quality Show DMX Neo system found on most Broadway and West End shows and many large music tours. So it has the same high fidelity, reliability, and low latency as our top-of-the-line professional systems, but at a fraction of the price. All Show Babies are transceivers, which means they can either be transmitters or receivers. And the beauty of the Show Baby system is that that choice is entirely plug and play. Now let's set up a simple system with one transmitter and one receiver. Of course, you can have many receivers with a transmitter. I'll start by plugging power into the two Show Babies. The RX light comes on and the data light will be blinking since there's no DMX data yet. The Show Baby's default state is to be a receiver. That means when it's powered up with no DMX plugged into it, it will always be a receiver. If you look into the DMX in port on the back of a show baby, you'll see a tiny white switch. When a DMX cable from your lighting controller is inserted into that port, that tiny switch is triggered and the show baby automatically switches itself to become a transmitter. The receiver light goes out, the transmitter light comes on, the status light changes to steady green signifying that DMX is present. On the other show baby, the status light changes to steady green, meaning that DMX is being received, and our signal strength bars show we are receiving a strong signal. Now we have our system set up and we are broadcasting from our transmitter to our receiver, just like we had run a cable. I'll plug a DMX cable from the fixture we will control into the DMX out port of our receiver. I have my lighting fixture assigned to DMX slot one. When I push up fader one on the controller, I have control of the fixture. Here's red on fader one, green on fader two, and blue on fader three. You can use the signal strength bars to check the status of your system. Keep your antennas parallel to each other like this, not pointed at each other like this. Some of you are owners of the original Show Baby, and some of you may have Show Baby 5. So what's the difference between them? All the original show babies are locked on one broadcast show ID. They can't be scaled up into larger multi-universe systems. That's usually not a problem on smaller shows, but since wireless DMX easily passes through walls, if you have two adjoining stages, show baby systems could interfere with each other. To solve this, in Show Baby 5, we added the ability to select any one of five different show IDs. This allows your broadcast to happen in a different area of the spectrum than other show babies in the area, or for you to scale up to multi-universe shows yourself by adding additional transmitters. Here's how it's done. On the show baby 5, the status light serves two purposes. It not only lets you know that data is present, it also tells you the show ID you're using. By toggling the recessed switch on the back of the unit, you can step through the five different show IDs indicated by the status light changing colors. The color of the status light needs to match on both transmitter and all receivers for the devices to communicate. The five different choices for show IDs also produce five different methods of broadcast, including an adaptive hopping pattern, a full bandwidth hopping pattern, a limited bandwidth hopping pattern in the lower end of the spectrum, a limited bandwidth hopping pattern in the middle of the spectrum, and a limited bandwidth hopping pattern in the upper end of the spectrum. Right out of the box, the default show ID for Show Baby 5 is the adaptive hopping pattern, which is the green light, and that means that in its default mode, Show Baby 5 is compatible with all original Show Babies. And if you want to learn more about wireless DMX and go much deeper into radio and antenna technology, watch the five webinar series on wireless DMX on our website, citytheatrical.com.